On this week's boiler tip, we're going to take a look at thermal stress on fire tube boilers. Why is it a problem? I mean, if we think about a boiler, it's logical, hey, this thing's designed to get hot. Um, presumably it's going to get hot, cool down, get hot, cool down. Um, but in the life of a boiler, actually we'd be a lot better off if we just got the boiler hot and kept it hot. And the reason is because of thermal expansion of metal and the stresses that it can create. Because if we've got a boiler and we need it to be running at a certain time, um, we would like to show up as needed to get it warmed up and get it online to be ready at that time. Um, the issue that we can have is that if we speed up warming up a boiler or we speed up cooling down a boiler, we can generate stresses. Um, essentially, everything in the boiler is going to expand and contract as it warms and cools. But the, the speed that it's warmed up affects the overall stress. If we look at this boiler, we've got our burner firing in here. Obviously, the area with the first heat is that main furnace. Um, until the water warms and starts to equalize the temperature below the water level, um, we're not gonna have even heat on the second pass that we have on the first pass. So that will expand and, and those tubes may not. And what that does is that generates force against the metal. And if we don't take care and we do that quickly, we'll get thermal stress cracks. So this is actually part of a tube sheet where the pushing and pulling of the furnace um, has cracked that metal. And ultimately that's gonna result in failure. So there are a number of things to consider and a number of ways to prevent thermal stress. Um, the first rule on a steam boiler is we shouldn't come out of low fire until we've got steam on the boiler. And, and the reason is, yes, we've got a temperature gradient between tubes that's gonna be pretty unavoidable. But we've also got a gradient in the shell because anywhere that there's water on startup, you know, around here, um, everything below that is going to be of similar temperature because water is gonna conduct the heat from one element to another. But above the water level, until we're generating steam, there's air, and air is an insulator. So the top of the shell could be significantly cooler than the bottom of the shell because steam's not conducting that heat from the po bottom portion to the top. So ensuring that we operate at a minimum input until we're generating steam and all the air's been vented out, that's gonna be a big first step on not shocking our boiler.